Hi guys. Okay, so we're this is video 1.1 1. 1, and um, let's just watch the video together. one liter of water. All right, so here we have a graphic of the same thing as the video. We have 1,000 milliliters, and 1,000 milliliters is put into 10 cups. So how many milliliters are going to be in each container? 1,000 is the same as 10 hundreds. So there's 100 milliliters in each cup. And then we take one of those cups and we pour it into 10 cups. So 100 is equal to 10 tens. So you can see now there's 10 milliliters in each cup. And then we take one of those cups and we pour it into 10 cups. So 110, right? 110 from over here is equal to 10 ones or one milliliter. What do you notice about how each unit was decomposed each time we use 10 cups, right? Think about how decomposing the water into 10 equal parts each time helps you think about the relationship of place value units. Does this remind you of something that we learned about in place value? When we decompose or divide a place value unit into 10 of the next smaller unit, each place value unit is 10 times as bigger as the one before it, right? So 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1,000, and then the other way, 100 is 1 tenth of 1,000, 10 is 1 tenth of 100, and one is one tenth of 10. And then we have our one here. What would happen if the water in one of these cups was decomposed into 10 equal parts? Yes, barely a tiny little bit there. So you can imagine, right? 10 equal parts, one one is equal to 10 tenths, right? And one divided by 10 is 10. So today we're going to see what place value units result from decomposing one one into 10 equal parts repeatedly, doing it um, a few times. We're going to model decimals to the thousandth place and we're going to look at the relationship between digits in multi-digit numbers. And we're going to learn to read and write decimals to the thousandth place. Okay, so we're working on a lot of thousands place today. Um, good luck. <laughs> 